In this video, I'm going to show you how you could use TubeBuddy to receive and collect more views on your YouTube channel and even more subscribers. So you want to watch this entire video. And by the way, right below this video, I do have a link to TubeBuddy for you can get signed up. You can download TubeBuddy on your desktop or mobile device by using the Google extension or the Google Chrome extension or Google Chrome period or even actually the Firefox, you can use that as well, or the Microsoft Edge as well. So download TubeBuddy to help you receive more views and more subscribers when you're growing your brand, because this is the place to grow your brand and to grow your bank account. I'm Adam Shelton, let's go ahead and dive into the content. Now, let's go ahead and go to the favorite areas of TubeBuddy to help grow your YouTube channel, get more views today. Let's go get more views today. Now look at this. Now when you click, when you go ahead and sign up for TubeBuddy, so we click on the link below, sign up for TubeBuddy, and then come right to your YouTube channel at the top here that I'm basically circling. You go right at the top there. And let's, we're gonna talk about a couple of these things here. We're gonna talk about the keyword explore first. Yes, you have the dashboard, you got the playlist, which is self-explanatory, but we're gonna key in on a couple of these right here to help you grow your channel today. If you click on keyword explore, we're going to find a keyword that basically we can help do videos about, like multiple videos, multiple videos. Now, if I type in here and says, okay, I'm gonna do a video on lead generation. So that's what my video is gonna be about. So that's my keyword, it's gonna be lead, lead generation. And as I'm typing that in there, because I have TubeBuddy, I have a, a browser extension that's gonna help me identify what people are actually searching for and look at all these topics i actually can do videos over i could really experiment doing videos over these keywords because lead generation is my keyword and these are things that people are searching for look at this you got linkedin you got business you got tutorials you got tools so you, any of these type of things i can say you know what i'm going to experience doing 12 different videos over these different topics now if i go click on lead generation tutorials. So let's say I wanna do a tutorial on how to get leads. Let me click on there and this is where, where I start at. Now give me a low score on unweighted, but I can still play around with it to find a really good you know, score or pretty good score in terms of me wanting to do a video. The weighted and the unweighted is pretty much about the same with the search volume and the competition low. But let me see if I can find something in here in terms of what people are searching for. Now on here, it doesn't give me some information on what people are searching for, even though lead generation tutorial is people are searching for, but not as a high, high volume. So I can always go back. I can always go back. If, if, if I want to like get more specific. So if I can say, okay, lead generation business or LinkedIn or something like that. So if I go to lead generation business, it gives me a little bit better of a score, video topics. Now I've got some video topics, some examples exactly what type of videos I can do too. So utilize this area too, how lead generation business work. Even though this gives me a pretty good score, I can probably do a video around this keyword here. I definitely can, but if I wanted more, take it to a different type of level, let me take a, look at some of these other ones here and look at this excellent how to lead generation business works so then i can clean up this pretty much clean up this keyword a little bit and for my title so obviously people are really searching for that because it's pretty high and it's that that's something i would look to do a video over how how to get lead generation how to get, how to get leads generation business works. It's very interesting. People type that in. So then you can fit, the, fit that into your title as well. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So I will do a video over this and just clean up the actually title up a little bit. So that's what I would do there. So let's move on to the next thing here. The next thing we're going to talk about is going to be, is going to be the SEO studio. Now the SEO studio is also does a target keyword and I'm going to use a keyword that's already on this video right here that I'm going to do scalability pro review that we just did about four or five videos over. Now, when I do this, I want to make sure the TubeBuddy SEO score 
is a little bit higher because I want to make sure I maximize the ability that the SEO studio beta have for TubeBuddy. And don't forget right below this video, click on the link below. You need to get TubeBuddy today. This can really, really help improve your actually SEO. No, no question, improve. Now, right here, I've got Scalability Pro Review mentioned several times because that is my keyword. And that's why the score is 95%. And that's one reason why, how to improve your score, everything is in the green. Now, to get it to 100%, I could probably add a little bit more of the keyword in my description, but 95% is very, very good. I won't get so picky on that. 95% is extremely good, I'm telling you. Now, I can move on to the next part. The next part will be, is gonna be all about the tags. Now, one area that I did not add this is actually, I did not add the first tag in terms of my title. So I'm gonna add that in there to improve the score. And now 100% is gonna be in there as well. So that's gonna improve um, the tag scores and overall of the whole process of the SEO score to buddy tag area. So I'm gonna add that in there. And then the next is going to be all about your thumbnail, the thumbnail tips. Follow these tips here because sometimes, you know, it could be one or two tips that can really help your thumbnail shine. And of course, I'll do a thumbnail actually creation in a future video to show you how you can do get some thumbnails that can really stand out. I'm really sure you want to watch that video as well. Now, look at this. Look at these tips. Use bright colors and high contrast images. Now on these thumbnails, I've done about four or five videos on here because I believe I have more of in terms of videos over this actually keyword. Now it's only going to show me so many. It does got other ones in here. The great um, Daniel Kump is on here. You've got some other videos that use scalability as well. Now it says use bright colors and high contrast images. Well, the I've used some bright colors in here and high contrast images. Yes, we have that. Include a close-up of a human face whenever possible. Check, you have that check. Ensure text is large enough to read on any device. Check, this is actually pretty large text, especially on your mobile device. I checked it out. It's pretty, pretty large, <laughs> pretty large in here. And that stands out pretty much. And also use fonts, colors, shapes that are consistent with your brand. Well, we did, we used some stars here. Uh, we also use some of the, the actually logo information here and we have the color that actually goes with the logo very, very well. So absolutely. And then, and also it brands it very, very good. So that's check. So the title scalability pro review, we've got that in there. That's in there multiple times. And matter of fact, look at this is a hundred percent. Now the title is hundred percent. Now, you know, why is hundred percent now is because I believe we might've made an adjustment on the tags here that made that. So that's it. Oh yeah. Okay. So the tax is made a hundred percent. So there we go. hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent across the board. Now I'll go to next and right here is going to ask me, do I want to apply the changes, this optimization to your video? So I'll apply the video. I don't have to do it. I can save it as a draft, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the video. I'm going to apply them, apply those changes. So I'm going to apply the change. I can close the studio here and then it did add that on there. So I actually added that on there. I asked the, they actually, the title is going to be on there. I'm going to save it and changes are saved on here. So the next area we're going to talk about the last part it's going to talk about is going to be the video topic planner. Now this is pretty cool because a lot of times that you may have some ideas, you may want to keep it in your actually suit here. So if I, if I say I want to do, how to uh, how to get get more leads on Facebook or let's say YouTube could be on here YouTube I can type it in here I can say YouTube strategies organic strategies YouTube ads so let's say make make an example I save that and so this stays in here. So my video ideas actually stay there. This is a really good helpful tip that's not used as often. It's almost like if you can use this as a planner in a way that I see other people do and I've been using it. I haven't had any there lately, but I've used this before 
and if you got a good idea go ahead and put it in your actually studio this is a good utilized area that does not get used as much so you can do another one say how <laughs> I didn't get more views on YouTube. Two buddy, buddies away. Also, you can say um, YouTube. You can say um, keyword everywhere. So then I can say, all right. So that will be my next video is going to be over how to get more leads on YouTube. How to get more views on YouTube. Now check this out. When I close it and open it back up again, and if I go to Video Topic Planner, it's there. It's there. So I can put complete. So if completes will be the ones that I've already completed it. So if I go here, I can click on Video Completed. So if I already did a video over these things, it's already completed. Save that now. So this is really good. This is not utilized a lot. That I don't see so I wanted to go over and make sure that if you got some video ideas put it in the video topic planner this is a really good way of really kind of scheduling out your stuff too okay I'm gonna do this on Monday this on Tuesday this on Wednesday and you can do that so I'm gonna close it here so I wanted to go over three of these areas here the tag list is actually another area where you can kind of you can add tags you can actually create a list so I can create a list for my tags but we'll go over that in future videos. It's really pretty cool to do. But I want to really, really pay attention to the Keyword Explorer, the SEO Studio, and the Video Topic Planner. Click on the link below to get access to the TubeBuddy. It actually do a lot more than just some of these things here. You can get also to the whole TubeBuddy website, and you can go to some of the member perks and go through all the other, other elements that it has and all the graphics and all the really cool tips and growing your channel and the community's good there's different upgrade levels that you really take advantage of so but you got to start out by clicking on the link below get access get some of this keyword information that way you can start doing videos on what people are searching for and really nailing it down pulling building content on what people are searching for just like we did earlier that says how lead generation business work okay so now i got keywords where people are are searching for obviously i won't say this in my title but i will use these words in my title you see what i'm saying i will use these words in my title because i got an excellent score and people are searching for it as well my name is adam shelton get signed up for tubebuddy today by clicking on the link below and i'll see you on the next video you want to use more videos like this if you want to grow your brand and grow your bank account i'll see you on the next video